Okay, so I thought I'd make a guide on the uh, on the Toot Sweet achievement, uh, which is the achievement for uh, beating the game faster than the developers could. Uh, so I did a bit, of, a bit of research, and it looks to be around 40 minutes that you need to uh, beat the game under. So uh, for this run, like for starters, um, the only, th the only uh, things you need to keep in mind are gamma. You should turn it all the way up, so you can actually see where that light source. Uh, we start a new game. We're gonna we're gonna play on easy, uh, mainly because of um, uh, resource drops and also because uh, when you shoot the stalker once, he just immediately fucks off, which is very convenient. And yeah, you should play with uh, hints off because they interrupt the gameplay and subtitles on. Yeah, skip the intro. So I've been watching a few of the um, a few of the early speedruns of this game so far, and they've already reached the sub 15 minute mark. So you really don't need to like treat this achievement like a speedrun. You like you don't need to like constantly be sprinting anywhere, thinking you're constantly behind time. Because honestly, as long as you just know uh, the right routing to take and the correct order to uh, go to each place in, like you'll be fine. You really, you really don't have to just sprint everywhere and like constantly worry. You just gotta take the optimal path everywhere and you'll be good. That being said, there are some uh, there are some tips I will be giving uh, to speed things up or make things make things a bit easier. Can't do much about this uh, opening animation, so we just gotta like, play it out. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is just immediately head to uh, the dying guy and get our gun. Here. Don't even go to him, just go to the pantry and uh, pick up your bullets. Don't get tracked away. So we can just pick up the gun and we're gonna grab a brick. So we're gonna use this to break the lock instead of shooting it. Because, um, first rule for this run is that uh, ammunition is very important. Ammunition is our. Uh, Basically, ammunition is how many mistakes we can make in this run. So we kind of need to not waste any of it. Alright. Another in here. Let's search these for some items. Grab a heal. Uh, if there's any fuel, I would really appreciate that. Doesn't look like it. I have nothing in there. Okay. So, uh, Wow, well, there's... Huh. Wow, we're, we've really got unlucky with fuel. Okay, uh... 3019. Let's, uh, get some hotkeys ready. No, only one fuel canister, though. That's, um, that's incredibly unlucky. There's usually, like, at least three down here. Okay, so yeah, just put that in the generator and turn it on. Animation's a bit screwed up, that usually happens. Okay, and then we can get out of here. Right. So I'm gonna sprint for just like, just to get into the first room. But then like after that I'm gonna play it slow. So we need to get the dog tag to, um, to get the valve first. So we go in here. Alright. 2769. And now I'm gonna start walking. Because, yeah, lights are flickering, which means he's around. I don't want to sprint and uh, get him out too early. Alright, yeah, ideally there should have been enough fuel in that area to last us a while, but I'm gonna have to grab some in here. And, uh, and fill up the generator again on my way out. So, let's grab that, let's grab that. Okay, uh, already forgotten the code. <laughs> 2769. There we go. Yeah, I'll grab the valve. And I'm also going to search this place for a grenade. There's one. We're gonna need bullets, yes I do. Uh, gas grenade that's useful, and another regular grenade that's also useful. Alright. Let's get the valve installed. Yep, 
Yeah, so the main reason uh, you play on easy is so that if, um... Uh, if the Stalker shows up, which he almost certainly will, um, we have a way of uh, dealing with him. We just shoot him once and then he goes away. That's usually how it works. Uh, oh yeah, I need to fill up, don't I? And yeah, remember to, uh... To get out your watch every time you refill the generator, just set it as quickly as possible. This tells us how much time we have to, uh, until the lights go out. But honestly, like, at this point the generator will basically never go out for the rest of the run. Alright, so we're making our way to maintenance. Uh, try to jump over any, any traps you come across. Uh, unless it's, like, on the way back. Uh, because, yeah, they will alert the Stalker, and we really don't want him blocking off our, uh, our exit. Alright, so for this part, I'm going to show you a little trick. So I'm going to get out the grenade, and I'm going to start sprinting about now, because I need to get ahead of this rat. Alright. What I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go to the bottom of here, and I'm going to throw the grenade at that wall right there. And then, once that goes off, what that does is it breaks the lock on the other side of this door, and I can just walk right through. We're already here. Alright, watch out for traps. He's gonna be right in our ass, but that's fine. Jump over that. Gonna... I'm gonna close that behind me. So I walk through here, grab the key. Jump over that again. Alright. He's down those stairs, so I'm just gonna keep walking, make sure he doesn't notice me. Jump over another trap. Alright, get into the pillbox. I'm gonna grab a foreman's dog tag and get out of here. Yeah, neat little trick you can do um, to skip having to go through the, uh, the tunnel of 50 rats. Very neat little trick. Uh, let's see, 1120. And yeah, obviously the way this plays out, it does, uh, you know, obviously there is quite a bit of RNG involved, as you, as you saw right at the beginning, where I got absolutely no, uh, no fuel tanks at the beginning, which I've never seen before on easy. That's like something I'd expect it on uh, hard mode. And yeah, it's the same with like uh, getting grenades when you need them or getting bullets. But luckily we haven't had to shoot a bullet so far, so we've still got three to work with. Yeah, lights are still flickering, so it's not really safe to run. Got a lot of time. Alright, looks like he's about ready to come out. I'm gonna cross this loading screen, and then I'm going to ooh, start sprinting because I need to jump over these rats. And if you jump at the right time, they shouldn't be able to hit you. Because if, uh, if they do hit you, you're, you'll lose health, which is bad. Okay. I'm going to... I'm gonna top up the generator again before I head to the next couple areas, because we're going to be in there for a while. Depending on how things play out. Set the stopwatch again. Okay. So now we're going to get the wrench and head to the prison. And I've already forgotten the code again, because I keep talking over myself. 1120. Yeah, pro tip, don't talk over yourself when doing this run. <laughs> okay. See, so we've got plenty of time. I'm just going to head to the prison, get the uh, bolt cutters. Right. 
Need to make sure not to alert the stalker too early here. We need to go in here and we need to grab some fuel, some ammo, nice. Um, and we need the brick. Do break open the door. I'm gonna equip the gas grenade real quick. We're just gonna throw it at this door two times to break it open. And then what I'm gonna do immediately after is I'm gonna chuck it at that hole. And hopefully that works. Never mind, okay, he's coming for us, that's fine. Just shoot him once and he'll then he'll fuck off. In the meantime we can open this grid. Not even looking behind me, because I know all I have to do is shoot him once. Yeah, not sure why not sure why the gas grenade didn't go off, but I kind of expected that to happen, because it's happened before. There's another one here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use it again. So as soon as you pull this lever, he's gonna um He's gonna come out of the hole right here. So I'm just gonna throw that there preemptively. And, uh, and just immediately run. It didn't go off again. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe I just don't understand how uh, our gas grenades work in this game, but that's alright. As soon as I pass the load trigger, I'm just gonna start walking again, and then we're gonna head to the uh, to the barracks. Okay. He might actually... Oh yeah, he's gonna come out of that hole. That's fine. Hopefully he comes through and shoot him again. And uh, hope he doesn't run this way. That would be good. Oh, he's act he opened the door for us. That's actually really kind. Well, there is a trap there, so that's really unfortunate. That's all. Ooh, okay. We open. Actually, uh, is that? I mean, we have enough grenades. We'll be, we'll be fine. Actually, we'll be fine. Uh, an, an extra grenade actually couldn't help. Uh, couldn't hurt. All right. So now, once we're in here, we need to start checking uh, the beds to find the key. So they can either be in one of the pockets, or they can be. Uh, like under one of the pillows. What's that? That's a that's a gas bomb, so I don't need that. Um, see, if it's not in this room, it'll be in the next room. Not in this room. Okay. Yeah, just back to walking. I've got three bullets to work with. Alright, let's go and try and jump over these rats. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can find a grenade while we're in here. Nice. Awesome. Alright, let's get the... Uh, um, that's, uh, that's interesting. There's supposed to be a brick in here. Very weird. Brick usually spawns in here. Oh well, you're though, I guess. No big deal, just waste a bullet. Alright, jump that again. Nice. Got one bullet left to work with. That's fine, I'm sure. Alright, we just gotta check the other... Uh, the other room to see if we can find the key.
So yeah, just check the uh, check the pockets, check the um, pillows, all that. Oh, is this a grenade? Yes, it is. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna grab my bolt cutters and do this, so I can take it. But I need to drop something. I'll drop some gas. There we go. Again, like I can afford to take my time like this. It's really no big deal. And there's the key. Uh, again, I don't need this much gas. I don't think at least. Nope, I'm good. Let me uh, so we op uh, open communications. That's just an artillery strike. Don't worry about that. Turn that on. Do that. And pay attention to the subtitles. Three, five, eight, six. If you really wanted to optimize for time, you could just like pay attention to the first uh, three numbers, and then you can guess the last one. Lights are flickering, so I can't really sprint right now. Alright, I am going to top up the generator one more time before I head to the arsenal, because we do kind of need it to be filled up. We're going to be in the arsenal for quite a while. Only one bullet to work with is actually, um, I just realized might actually not be ideal for this next area. We do need, uh, I'm just trying to think. We need one for shotgun guy. And obviously we just need, uh, well, obviously we need protection against, uh, stalker boy. Let me just see. We do have a shotgun shell, so once we get the shotty, we can at least do that. I'm gonna sprint once I enter here, because realistically, once we go past here, uh, let's check for bullets, nope. Once we go past here, we're basically free from the stalker for quite a while. Uh, any bullets in here? Yes! Very nice. Right, let's move the chain. Uh, here's a neat little speedrunner trick as well. We're gonna sprint, jump on this barrel, and then jump up here. And then we can... If we just stand in the right spot, we can be able to. There we go. Pull that. So just immediately do this. Oh. Okay, I'm probably wasting time doing this, but I don't care. Okay, yep. Three times, it's time to give up. Go the normal way then. Alright, I'm just looking at my time right now. We've almost reached the 20 minute mark and we're already well past the halfway point, so... Yeah, we should be fine from here on out, honestly. So yeah, once we get into the, um, into the, whatever you want to call it, the crystal-y area, we're just gonna, we're just gonna kill shotgun guy, take a shotgun, and then, um, and then grab the, uh, the detonator. So what you can do here is you can throw a grenade through this, there's the door right there, so we can just immediately open that door. And, uh, just realize I need to reload. Okay. Wait till he shoots. Okay, well... That's really annoying. I'm just gonna reload my one last bullet. 
And I'm okay. That is really irritating. Alright, here's the door. I'll grab the detonator. And I'm also going to, just to make the end game a little easier, I'm actually going to go through this tunnel and grab the bunny. Because again, we have so much time. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure my first shot hit him in the head. So I'm not entirely sure how he survived. But, uh, I mean, whatever, thank god we just barely had enough ammo to, uh, to make it work in the end. So I got the bunny. This will just make, um, getting past the end game, uh, just a little easier, I don't know. I find uh, taking out the stalker at the end of the game to be a bit tricky without it, honestly. Especially if I run out of uh, if I run out of shotgun ammo. Okay, let's bind this. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's post that. Oh, hey, okay, we found some ammo. Uh, how are we for time? Absolutely perfect. And yeah, in case I didn't already know, those shadowy figures we're seeing right now, those are hallucinations. They're completely harmless. Alright, I'm gonna pull the shotgun out so I can actually have a better chance of, uh, of hitting the stalker with it. But we're done, uh, we're done here, so now we can, uh, you know, it's uh, where the rest of the arsenal as our shit. I actually don't... I picked up an extra grenade, I just realized. We can head over to where the dynamite is. Okay, uh... Over here. Get out of my way. I'm actually going to turn off the generator before I leave as well, because this thing makes a lot of noise. Alright, stop sprinting here. Because I can already hear him. Alright, any traps along the way? No, I think we're good. Ooh. I'm going to forget that's there when I leave, so I'm just going to do that. Um, already forgotten what the code is, 3586. Nice. Okay. Alright, here's what I'm going to use the grenade for. I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm going to... I think it's safer to use it on the way back. Oh boy. Oh, well, that's uh, annoying. I didn't see that there. Alright, he's behind us. That's actually really good. I'm gonna jump here. You can bust through here, I'm pretty sure. Just gonna walk because I'd rather not shoot any more bullets than necessary. Oh wait, walk into a trap. That's actually good for us, that means I'll probably fuck off. Gonna parkour on the table right here. Yeah, that's actually pretty convenient for us that he walked into a trap. Any more ammo here? Nope, we got the dynamite. Uh, actually. Hey. Oh. Okay. Uh, things we're doing all right. Yeah, I think we're. Uh, I think we're good for the rest of this run. I'm also not saving at all. I should probably mention because I mean, uh, 
I'm pretty confident. Uh, I think I've got my strat for this run pretty well. Okay, he's uh, he's out again. So he's oh hello. So I'm gonna chuck the grenade over. Oh, he's already destroyed it. All right, I didn't realize he already destroyed this. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run. And I can pretty easily outrun him, so this shouldn't be a problem. He is probably going to meet me on the other side of this tunnel, though, so I've got my, uh... Got my, uh, got my firearms ready. I only have one shotgun shot to work with, so I really hope I don't miss it. I'm not going to ignore him for now and just put this in. Yeah, shouldn't need to worry. Okay, let's see. Let's just do this now. Should be fine. Yeah, I don't actually think he reacts to this uh, this set piece, so... I think I'm swimming. Alright. Now we can just uh, run over to the end game. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is... Um, I just realized what I needed that uh, that last grenade for. I mean that's fine. There should be a grenade in the uh, in the final area, but I'm gonna get the bunny ready, and I've got plenty of time to work with. All right, so I'm gonna run through here and immediately start searching for a grenade. He spawns over there. Um, doesn't seem to be one here. That's fine. There we go. That's what I need. All right. And we're going to chuck the bunny there and lure him over. All right, has he seen it? Yes, he has. Okay. So now we're just going to run behind him and chuck the grenade on the bridge. And that's him dealt with. And now we can, uh, now we can complete the game. We're at about 30 minutes right now, so, uh, so we've done a pretty good job. Just wait for that to break, head on over. So yeah, really easy to get sub 40 minutes if you just route everything correctly and, uh, Adapt to situations as they evolve. Yeah. Now we can uh, submit our lives to the Germans. Twenty-eight fifty-nine. Not bad. I got. I even got below thirty minutes. So it's, it's really not that difficult once you know what to do. Uh, but yeah, I hope this helps and uh, have a good day.